do you feel as a game you should have won, Kevin? Ah, I think so. I think uh, I think Cowden beat a couple of good chances, but um, I thought we I thought we were the team, you know, probing and moving the ball well and sort of dominating, you know, in areas high in the park. Um, and you know, it's I think it's the fact that we, we just can't kind of play that well uh, for the length of the spells that we did in the game creating chances and no start winning games um, and there's certainly no the gap that the league would suggest between these two sides uh, so there's a frustration obviously the fans are frustrated um, the players are hugely frustrated um, because they just you know they're, they're training hard they're working hard and uh, you know they, they desperately want this to turn and I think you know the level of commitment and desire and energy that they give on a weekly basis, by the way, this isn't an inconsistency. This isn't a, a team that doesn't turn up and give it so. You know, this is a team that, even when they're only playing great, gives it so. And the fact that, you know, we are, you know, sort of one of the best defences, one of the best defensive teams in the league, it, it shows that. So there's there's positives in amongst the, all this negativity that we'll have to keep fighting through until we get to our side and players start getting the kudos for it. You must have had a dozen or more corners for straight in that fourteen. Fourteen that, that not one of them came to anything. I, I, think, I think at least three should have ended up with a great save or certainly asking the keeper more. Um but this is a responsibility of the full team. You know, these are things we work on. I thought the delivery for corners was great. I thought we looked dangerous, the runs were good, we were attacking it. Could have got the broken break of the ball at times, we didn't. But you know, it's a, you've got to be more proactive than reactive. I feel at times, you know, we're just maybe anticipating just as sharp as what other teams are when we're attacking. You know, defensively we're fine, we're on it, we're getting rid of things, but in attacking areas, be that little more, you know, anticipate a wee bit more gamble in the areas. Um but you know, again, Cammy Thompson outstanding. You know, going from obviously with the injury to Jamie going back to left back, playing different positions and handled it supremely well. And I thought the other three lads at the back with Blair Curry were, were outstanding. Devin Kev, I, I could, I did, I can't pick a bad performance as a thing. You know, and that's that's encouraging. How's James Craney after his head knock? It was definitely a bit groggy. You know, the good thing was he wasn't he let out cold at any point. He was he was well aware of what was going on. But I think maybe the shocky taking quite a heavy done, you know, was it was enough and just you don't get that enough time to obviously give him that grace to get him back on the second half. But certainly by the time we went back out he was he was feeling fairly fairly normal, you know. So we'll hope that he'll be okay and we'll assess that Thursday first. Was that Dylan Bikey and Josh doing some work before the game? Are they close to a return? Um I see the same thing here all the time. Um I think, you know, we're very close with, with Dylan, I think you know, we, we had a scan on Dunn and Josh, and he's going to be about two to three weeks. So, okay, so you've got a, got a some, tear or something? Ah, we've got uh, Kenny's got some, Kenny Creighton's got some, the physio's got some definitive information on that, so I'm yet to sit down and discuss exactly what. But, you, you know, it's good that we've got that clarity of what it is now because it's been a bit of an unknown. So, yeah. again, he'll be three weeks, um, hopefully at max, um, but hopefully, well, in between then, Bill and BK will be. Be back in between that thing. Yeah, I'll be over lost tonight. How do you see that for for Saturday? It's a big game, obviously. I think it's hard to. I, think, I don't like to read too much in it. What's gone before, you know, because if we did that, then you know, I don't know. It's, it's a bit misleading. You know, County could beat Broxburn. County are sitting in a title race. So, uh, does it make them Broxburn a better team than County? No. Um, I'll be. We go four each, scored goals against them the first game, they've went up there a long midweek game after a long journey to Fort William. Fatigue and you know, maybe other elements, the, the reasons, no excuses, reasons why they've maybe been maybe been a bit flat night. I don't know if they were, they might have been unlucky, but you know, the scoreline suggests that Cove have dominated that game and put them away. So I would expect Alwyn to come here and give us a, a really tough game. You know, there was a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, passion in the last game against Albion, uh, what we've got to do, myself in particular, is uh, channel that in the right way and hopefully that's channel that into a performance that, that gives us three points and, and uh, sets us up nicely, you know, seven unbeaten, getting into a big game away from home. Finally, a couple of penalty shouts and one at either end, did you have a view of those? One yeah. for handball, I think, for Sterling the claim and, and uh, a foul at the other end they were claiming for. foul, but one, can you refresh my memory on that one? I don't remember counting beasts, I remember our one and all I thought was, We'd a player sent off for that, and a penalty given against us. Not for the exact same thing. I don't want to stress that, but I just, 
you know, it's inconsistency. Referees have got a hard, hard job. I thought on the night the referees were, you know, the, the officials even, sorry, were, were pretty good. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to get involved in blaming referees, certainly for, for no winning games. So, you know, we'll take that. If they feel they should have done a penalty, we feel we should have won, then it's one each, steady nothing each. But we've still got to be more clinical in front of all. And that's everybody. So, responsibility falls short of Blair Curry and goal. Um, but after that, as far as I'm concerned, we've all got a responsibility to be chipping in the goals. So that's what we've got to do as a team. We've got to drag each other through this. And the, the commitment that's on show, we're going the right way. Thank you.